Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and for those that are new, welcome. On this channel, I like to walk you through a day in my life as a tech founder in Seattle. So for today's agenda, I have four meetings. I have a lot of administrative tasks to do, responding to emails and things like that. And also give you some news about a pitch competition that I did this weekend. And for this week's challenge of the week, I will walk you through the challenges I've been facing trying to recruit a new team that is based here in Seattle as opposed to abroad. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned.
hey guys so i am back in my apartment because it got a little bit loud up there so yeah i have some amazing news to disclose and share i just woo -woo, won my first pitch competition to be fair this is my second pitch competition i was not expecting to win this happened this past uh, saturday and uh it was organized by start out grow up entrepreneur and uh, the black uh, founders and funders organization and it's sponsored by capital one and it was judged by three vcs and one entrepreneur who has had a successful exit i think if i remember correctly he sold his company for over 100 million if i'm not mistaken but in any case for me it's very exciting because it validated that i'm able to effectively communicate my idea in front of investors i know you're probably all wondering how much the win as my friends have been asking me to be fair and honest, I, they didn't disclose how much the winner was going to get during the event. They only announced that the winner will get a cash prize and bragging rights. That's what they did before they announced and mentioned my name. All right, so the winner of the pitch competition, uh, they will receive a cash prize and more importantly, uh, bragging rights. For how you won the competition? <laughs> The winner is Tuana Nambili from yes, I, I did not find out until today, which is five to six days. I think it's five or six days after the event actually took place. So the cash prize is $500, which to me is okay. It's not a lot compared to a lot of other pitch competitions where you win 10,000, 100,000, 500,000, whatever. But for me, it's $500 more than I had before going to that pitch competition. $500 for a startup that's bootstrapped can go a long way in paying for certain subscriptions that I have, like my subscription to SendGrid for my newsletters, my, uh, you know, subscription to, you know, my emails. So my corporate emails, I have to pay for that. For each email, I pay like $6 a month. So these can really help reduce the cost for my startup. But overall, just wanted to share that exciting news because I've been you know very excited because it's amazing to feel validated not validation in terms of the business idea because only my users and customers can validate my my actual idea but validation in a sense that I'm actually able to effectively communicate what it is I'm building in a way that allows others to understand exactly what I'm, I'm building and see viability oh hi yes May I speak to the manager, please? Oh, okay. Um, but they're on, on the premises? Perfect. Yes, I actually just wanted to talk to your manager because we're you know, a startup here in Seattle and we're thinking of uh, hosting an event and we thought of your venue. I mean, I, I would love to come in and just tell you a little bit more about what it is that we're thinking and then you can maybe think about it and see whether it would be a fit. All right, guys. So we have made it to that part of the day, which is challenge of the week. So for this week's challenge of the week, I wanted to share the challenges that I've been facing recruiting a new team. If you have watched my previous day in the life videos, you learned that I have built my team mainly abroad as a way to be scrappy and save on cost, to be still able to get quality talent. I've even partnered with an agency partner abroad as a way to build up my MVP. That said, I still want my team that is based here in Seattle that is going to be able to continue building and rolling out new features. So I've been spending a lot of time recruiting, reaching out to people in the greater Seattle area that are interested in joining a startup. This early on, you're looking for people that are the right fit, that share the same vision or similar vision, that are willing to put in the work that is required. I have to keep this in mind as I meet new people that if you're looking for work-life balance, a startup is probably not the place you wanna go because startups are notoriously understaffed because they are under-resourced. Right, so I have to find people that are willing to work at a startup pace, that are willing to come on and take on that risk. Of course, that risk is rewarded through equity and of course salary and stuff like that. But it's still a challenge having to reach out and then obviously having to sell the idea to different potential team members, but also then having to judge 
who could be the right fit for the company that alone is a challenge on its own right and then of course while still considering fundraising and things like that so that's all to say recruiting is a challenge for anyone right it doesn't matter who you are because maybe finding people is easy but finding the right fit is challenging so with that being said if you are in the greater seattle area or you're willing to relocate to seattle and you're interested in working for a tech company in marketing product management or engineering i am looking for people that are willing to relocate here and work on building eon full-time if you're interested i would love to hop on a call with you the position will be paid plus a very generous equity so just reach out to me because i am actively recruiting if you're interested in joining me please do not put it in the comments instead follow the link on the contact page of my company below in the comment section below and just reach out to me ensure to include the link to your linkedin page okay just linkedin is all i need and from there i will be able to reach out directly to you and let you know and schedule some you know time for us to meet and connect so yeah that is the challenge i have been facing and currently still navigating haven't fully solved it yet so if you are out there and can refer talented senior engineers or uh you know staff engineers or you know product managers and a product designer by the way which i didn't mention please send them my way all right guys so that ends today's day in the live video i hope you've enjoyed it if you have any questions please put them in the comment section below be sure to like this video so that other people can find it and also subscribe so that you're notified next time i post a new day in a live video i have switched my day in a live video to twice a month just because of the time limitation and i hope this has not disappointed a lot of you guys that were used to me posting on a weekly basis other than that thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye